What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here with Kevil and Dilly Vanilli. We are here to preview and predict the upcoming season for the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs were a team that made the playoffs again last year after you know starting off super hot. They were arguably the best team in the NFL through six weeks and looked like a Super Bowl contender. And then all of a sudden, they get to the playoffs, and uh, what do you know? Andy Reid's team loses. But we'll talk about Andy Reid throughout this video and also their new quarterback, Patrick Mahomi Mahomes. Hey. Um, he is going to be the starting quarterback, no doubts, no issues there um, for the Kansas City Chiefs. No issues, but a lot of questions when it comes to the Chiefs. Because of this new quarterback situation, because of what the defense was last year, we have to consider what the Chiefs will be this year in terms of are they going to still be a playoff team or are they going to be one of those teams that just take a step back? Uh, let's start off with Kevl. Kev, what do you see in the Chiefs this year? Well, I think if you're a Kansas City fan, you're, you've got to be excited about – Mr. Patrick Mahomes. The guy is, I feel, is a legit talent. I think it is, he is a definite upgrade to what Alex Smith brings. Uh, I think long-term, he's he's got star. But not only that, you still look at those weapons. You've got Kareem Hunt. Sammy Watkins will be a nice ad. Tariq Hill will stretch. Travis Kelsey, I know that some people don't like the way that he acts and, and behaves, but he's there's also a talent there. Uh, offensive line, I think, is really strong. Offensive line, uh, offensively, the, the Kansas City Chiefs are a really strong team. And defensively, you know, uh, they're okay. Uh, Eric Berry is still a pretty solid safety. You've got Justin Houston, can, and uh, it's pretty solid. Alan Bailey, you've got so, so you got some key factors there on the defense. So, this is the issue when we're running it. There's two issues that we have to talk about when the Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, we'll talk about Andy Reid first because I do think overall in terms of a regular season, he is a great coach. Um, certainly has found ways to win, uh, take less talented teams and bring them up, gets his team into the playoffs. What happens in the playoffs, it is a whole other story. Of course, they blew a huge lead against the Tennessee Titans. Inexplicably, quite frankly, uh, a really not very talented Tennessee Titans team. They found a way to lose. Andy Reid in the playoffs is always a an electronic problem. But we're not talking specifically about the playoffs here. We're talking about the regular season. I do see them having actually a very slow start. Their schedule on the t uh, off the top, Chargers, Steelers, 49ers, Broncos, Jaguars, Patriots. That's that's that minefield. So we're going to know a little bit about the Kansas City Chiefs at the start. But they do have a pretty – after that, their schedule isn't that tough. they got the Raiders, Seahawks, the last five, Raiders, Ravens, Chargers, Seahawks, Raiders – We've also got the Cardinals in there. They got the Browns. I think that this is a team that's going to start slow, but I think that this is a team that's going to grow uh, as the season goes on. I do have them in first place in the AFC West. I have them as a 12 and 4 ish and, and in the third seed. I just think that you look at this offense, I think it may take a little while for them to click, but I do think that they will uh, be they will be fine. Uh, it's really, to me, the, the AFC West has been a coin flip in my mind between the Chargers and the Chiefs. I think in terms of because because we're only focusing on the regular season at this point, I do see the Kansas City Chiefs winning the AFC West. We'll talk about the playoffs at another time, but in terms of regular season, I still think overall I have them the number one team in the AFC West. And 12-4, well, and four, correct? Yeah. Okay. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh boy. All right. I got to follow that up. All right. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, damn. I think they're going seven and nine. So thank you, Kev, for that introduction to 12 and four land. Um, look, I, I love Patrick Mahomes. This guy is going to be a stud in this league. I think he's going to be awesome. Um, and you look at the offense, it's really, it's really good. Um, but I don't think I'm not sold on them this year. I feel like next year could be the year that they come back. But in year one, I think Patrick Mahomes – We'll have a good season, but not enough to get this team uh, into the playoffs. And this is one of those bordering ones you could say 8-8, eight 9-7. Eight, and seven. I think 12-4 and four is quite the stretch for me. You think this team's going 12-4, and four, but the Rams are going 10-6? and six? 
Yeah. I don't even, I don't even know how that's physically possible. Um, Patrick Mahomes, like I said, Kareem Hunt is a great running back. Uh, he did. He provided in 2017 that he is for sure here to stay. Uh, he's going to do well. Tight end Travis Kelsey, second best in the game. Offensive line um, is decent. You know, can hold the the team well. And Tyree Kill, banger player. Like this guy is great. Uh, and I think him being a deep threat combined with Patrick Mahomes knowing how to throw the deep ball, that's going to be a lethal combination. Um, Sammy Watkins, I'm not a fan of. Um, his time in the Rams was, uh, in a word, difficult. And I think this is a better situation for him, but I don't know how he's how well he's going to do uh, in the Andy Reid system. We'll see how that goes. Defensively, um, there is quite a bit of talent or some good talent that you like here. Eric Berry, of course, mad respect for Eric Berry. Uh, in my opinion, should be one of the most respected players in the game, uh, just for his you know his personal stuff and how he does, and also being a great football player. So mad respect to him. Um, Justin Houston. I want to see what he does here in 2018 because he was hurt um, for most of last year, and we didn't really get to see what Justin Houston can bring to the table. Um, he's quite a uh, quite a great defensive player when he's there, um, but we'll see if he's healthy. Uh, Anthony Hitchens, you know, I remember from the Cowboys land, uh, is a decent linebacker. Uh, I don't know how much they're going to rely on him, but he's he's okay. Um, Xavier Williams, Chris Jones, there's some decent talent here. Uh, that I like on the defensive side, uh, and Kendall Fuller uh, is also a good sign, a good piece here. Um, but personally, I have a lot of questions to ask. Uh, again, the AFC West uh, to me is a very hard uh, question to answer. Like, which team is going to be here? Which team is going to be there? Um, and I think Patrick Mahomes will take a step in the right direction in 2017, but I don't think he can lead this team to the playoffs this season. Next year could be a big possibility. I think 12 and 4 from Kev is quite the stretch for me personally. I've got him at 7 and 9. I think that is where I'm going to place him out. Can they get 8 and 8, even 9 and 7? Uh, possibly they could sneak out another victory here. But I think 7 and 9 is a good record. I got him third in AFC West. Uh, good stuff looking forward, just not this year. Oh, I, I, I'm confused how you have them at 7 and 9. Because like I'm confused that you have them at twelve and four and two games ahead of the line. You're actually complimenting the Kansas City Chiefs even a little bit more than I did. I'm talking about there's, true. there's potential for a stuff down the line, but I don't see this team as solid enough. As Can I give you the reasons why I, ha I have the Kansas City Chiefs at seven and nine? Well, you also have them at seven and nine. Great, somebody agrees with me here. I'm sorry, Kev. I love okay. Mahomes. I I just don't know. I can't answer that question yet. And then this is the biggest reason, okay? Start the season. In L.A., in Pittsburgh, San Fran, in Denver, Jacksonville, in New England. That's so hard. That's start. really hard. A hard start, start. but I, I think that they're going – this is a team that I think is going to grow. Last year they started off great and tailed off. This year they're going to start off stole slow and I agree, which is why I have them at seven to nine. <laughs> I think that they're going to start slow, but let me let me dive into the roster. Okay, I agree with you guys. This is a very talented offense, but I think we need, we are forgetting that, of course, their offensive coordinator is gone. Matt Nagy is gone. I think a lot of what they did on offense last year was not only Andy Reid, but Matt Nagy's influence last year. And um, with Alex Smith. And we're forgetting how good Alex Smith was last year. Alex Smith was awesome last year. He had the best season of his career. And I'm not even an Alex Smith fan. And Alex Smith was the arguably the MVP of the NFL through six weeks. I mean, he was that good. So for Patrick Mahomes to come in as a basically a rookie and be that good is hard. That's tough. Yes, they have Travis Kelsey. Yes, they have Tyreek Hill, who I love. Yes, they have Sammy Watkins, who I think is overrated as, as shit. And they have Kareem Hunt. And they have Spencer Ware, who's coming back. That's awesome. But I think they did lose a starter on the offensive line, which will hurt. And then you go to the defense, which I think is not that great. Um, their secondary is just not very good. Outside of Kendall Fuller, who's their nickel back slot corner, Steven Nelson, he's okay. I don't know who the other corner is going to be. Um, Eric Berry, yes, adds a leadership quality and playmaker to this defense, but their other opposite free safety position is not good, whether that's McQuay, Sorensen, whoever it is. 
Linebacker, yes, I agree. They upgraded with Anthony Hitchens. They did overpay there, but it doesn't really impact the position. Reg Reggie Ragland is decent. D Ford was bad last year, and he's always injured or suspended or whatever. Justin Houston can't do it all himself in terms of a pass rush. And their front and their front has not been good at stopping the run. We remember last year, they got ripped up by the Titans. They've gotten ripped up numerous games. They were not a very good run defense last year. They were not a very good pass defense. They're amongst one of the worst defenses overall. And I just see that being too much for a young quarterback to overcome. Usually a playoff team with a young quarterback is a team that has the pieces in place, the coach, the quarterback that has some talent, but then also the defense. And I just don't see the Chiefs having the defense at times to bail out a Mahomes who I think is going to be a little bit inconsistent. Yes, he's going to be fantastic in certain moments and other moments he's going to make that dumb pass, he's going to make that dumb read, and that's just what happens with young quarterbacks. So for me, I see the Chiefs going 7-9. and nine. Yes, I could see them maybe being a wild card team, but I'm not going to say that they're the best team in the AFC West in 2018. Well, As a complete cool. roster, I just don't see it. You have this win. You have this team winning two more games than the Steelers and the Rams. Yep, I do. That's I do. I respect the opinion of Kevil, but I just can't I just, back I, it. And I know there's going to be a lot of Chiefs fans that are Kevil's number one fan for the rest of the season. Yes, so maybe that's what he's going for. Jake Barton's out there clapping for Kevil right now, but I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. I'm um, going to add one more thing here. Yeah. Uh, we're about to get into to one team that I think is being a little bit overhyped, but I do think the best head coach in this division is here in Kansas City. Yes, like I the, agree, which like is why I don't have them lower than seven and nine. I don't think they can be worse than six and nine. I think Andy Reid will. I think I think that I think he can get a couple of wins that you don't see, but it'll, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, four is just quite the stretch for me. I respect your opinion, but I mean, yeah. I just don't agree. <laughs> I just don't respect your opinion. On that note, hit the like button, subscribe. Let us know. Are the Chiefs going to be 12 and 4 and shock us all and be one of the best teams in the AFC and the NFL? Or are they going to be a team that drops off this year and maybe in the future they'll be that successful team, which is what I think? Um, so let us know in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's Mitch, Kevil, and Dilly of the Bottom Line View. Peace out.